Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike Cornell. Just wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, waiting for, I'm in Mexico City. I live here pretty much full time. Now gonna try and buy a house soon. But I wanted to just bring up a discussion I was really thinking yesterday. You know, what has really led me to where I am today? And one of the things that really led me here is what I always talk about on this channel, which is teamwork and creating teams, right? Creating teams and teamwork, okay? And you guys are probably tired of hearing me say this, but it was the most important decision I ever made in my life for, because when I first started in entrepreneurship, it was about me, 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 right? I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure out how to do this. I gotta be the best salesman in the world. I gotta be the guy, I gotta be him, you know? Which, you know, I'm pretty good at sales, I would say, and I'm pretty good at other things too. But I would still struggle, right? Like making $100,000 is nothing in the American economy. And I know people like that are making under that, like probably 150,000 and maybe even 200,000, like that's not a lot of money. And you're still working your ass off, especially if you're like a solo guy in the American economy. So, you know, I always talk about teamwork because it's so important for you guys to understand that it is the biggest when you, if you want to get big at anything in any business, it's not just about delegating to VAs. It's not just about delegating your labor to like virtual assistants. Oh yeah. Right. It's about creating a legit team to solve problems. And it could be, I mean, there's more, there's many areas that you can do this with in all areas of your life. And I'll give you examples. Like I did it for my company. I did it for my mental health. I mean, there was, and, and I can actually tie those two things together actually. So when I was, um, the first time that I was, somebody told me about that concept was when I was in real estate and I remember I was doing okay, you know, it was feast famine. I made some money here and there, you know, $10,000 this month, maybe $20,000 in two months, you know, just like it wasn't, it was like feast or famine. It felt like, so it wasn't, it didn't feel good. Right. And, um, and I remember like I was doing 150 calls a day. I was building my CRM. I was, you know, I didn't, ha I didn't quite have all the pieces in real estate that I should have now looking back at it, but I did my best. Right. But I was doing all the fucking work, everything, which is a key mistake that a lot of people make. Right. And I remember, you know, I woke up on like a fucking Saturday and I was just, and I, and I, and I was talking to my coach at the time uh, in this cell development program that Landmark Education has called Teams and Teamwork. And I was just, you know, kind of feeling sorry for myself and, um, you know, feeling just sorry for myself, right? Like, oh, I do all this work and nothing's happening and la la la. And I just remember him telling me like, well, why don't you create teams and teamwork? How can you create team here? And at first I was like, bro, like, dude, this is not gonna help me. Like, like I gotta get this done myself. And he's like, who can you get involved to like get your solution? You know, get to the, the solution here. Who can, who, can you, who can you get involved with you to help you? And um, it was really interesting when he said that immediately I was going to this real estate group at that time and they were all pretty much beginner investors or, you know, I would really consider myself, I would even consider myself then really beginner. I only did real estate for four years and wholesaling for four years. But, you know, I immediately I thought in my mind like, oh, I should fucking hit them up. 
I've got a bunch of leads in my CRM. I should hit them up and see what happens. I'll, I'll just tell them. They call my leads and whatever, whatever commissions we get or assignment fees that we get, I will split the profit with them. So I called each of them up and I was like, hey, I got this idea, la, 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 la. And I ended up having like 10 people over that. It wasn't that night, but it was the next night at my house. And it wasn't at night. I think, yeah, probably like five, six, you know, people get off work. We were just making calls. Now, probably wasn't the most optimal time. But the point is, we made it happen. Like, I made it happen. I was like, okay, what, what do I have? What can I do? Who can I get involved? Right? Like, you don't always have to buy it. Like, you don't always have to buy virtual assistants. You don't always have to pay for mentors, right? You get what I'm saying? Like, there's other ways that you can partner with people to add value to them and you add, uh, add value to them and they add value to you. There's ways that you can do that. And I would have never thought about that unless I did, um, you know, started really thinking about teams, teamwork. What should I do? I'll tell you another story. When I was doing my DTS business, uh, diabetic product, uh, diabetic uh, test trips, you know, buying and selling. That's what we do mostly on this channel. If you guys know me, um, uh, buying diabetic products, right? That's what I do now. So I've been doing that for four years and traveling the world. But anyways, my first year, I was at the end of the, my first year, I was making 400, $500 a day. And I was like doing the marketing, the sales, the pack, the unpackaging going to the post office sending it communications everything and um i was just going crazy just crazy i was i was like addicted to um i was addicted to making sales like literally i would do i would do it seven days a week i would wake up and prospect and I would just close deals all day. I mean, it was nice, you know, it feels really good to make money. But, you know, when you want to keep making money over over a long periods of time, you have to set up structures. And in my case, you know, I would spend about three hours a day prospecting, messaging people on different platforms and um, closing deals. And then I would do pickups, you know, locally, and then I would do nationwide um, deals as well. So I was doing all this by myself, and it was nice. I was making 500 to like $1,000 a day. I don't remember the exact one, but it was pretty decent money at the time. And um, I was just going crazy, you know? And one time, and like I said, I was losing sleep and um, one time my friend was like, hey, man, you should um, hire a virtual assistant. And I was like, no way, no way. I can't hire a virtual assistant. They don't know how to talk like me. I'm going to lose customers. I'm going to lose money. I built all this whole thing and la, 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 la. So I took like a week for, for that to sit in. And I eventually hired a virtual assistant. Then I hired a second one. Then when I figured out that I could travel and I created team. So I talked to somebody that I knew was in this industry already. And I said, Hey, I'm flying over here for like a month or two, three months. I want to see if you can um, get all my shipments. And um, if you could just, uh, you know, unpackage them and send them to all my wholesalers for me, that'd be great. And I'll give you a, a, a percentage of the, um, I'll give you a percentage of the revenue. So he said, yeah, cool. Yeah, for sure. This, that's a good deal. So I did that and um, I traveled to Peru for three months. And that was an, that's another example of creating team, you know, hired out, get a virtual assistant and then create, you know, a win-win relationship with somebody else, you know, but I would have never thought about those kinds of things unless uh, as soon as a problem happens, I just start to think, how can I create team around this? I don't want to do this whole thing myself. 
I don't have to solve this whole thing by myself. Can I get a mentor? Can I get a virtual assistant? Can I get, can I call somebody right now and see if they can help me? Um, you know, so how can I get a group of people to help me instead of me being in my fucking room alone, trying to figure it out? Um, and like, you know, just being, um, being lonely, you know, just being like lonely, just being like, oh, I'm going to figure it out myself. And I see that that's a big issue for entrepreneurs is they just feel like they got to figure everything out by themselves and they got to, um, they got to do it themselves and very, it's a, it's good to be competitive, but it's a limiting mindset and you have to get over that mindset eventually. So long story short is. When that happened, I was able to really blow my business up. Now I've got uh, over, I think over 35 virtual assistants at this point. We have uh, one operational manager at the top, and then we have three, four managers that manage all the different departments we have in Tampa, um, Di Tampa Diabetic Exchange, Cash Now, Diabetic Surplus. Anyways. So I say all that and, and, and in the beginning, I even had to instill that teamwork mindset or delegation mindset into my, uh, my top manager right now. I had to really get that into her head that, hey, I don't want you to do all the work. I want you to delegate it and monitor their work. And eventually she did that and now she's just killing it and she knows how to delegate well. She knows she's not going to do all the work. She knows she's going to kind of sit back, observe, look at what's happening, comment, strategize, leave it alone, and then check back up on the different managers that we have. And then those managers do that to the people below them. So I wanna talk about another example where that happened around my mental health. So about uh, same time as when I was like, you know, getting not much sleep and I was waking up and closing and making cash every single day, day in, day out, working, 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 you know, whether I was making pickups locally or I was closing deals online, you know, I had like a certain amount of things I had to do every single day. So I would wake up and I would do three hours of prospecting. Then I would go to the post office, get all my packages, unpackage them, um, you know, then get all the invoices set up. Then after that, I would, um, you know, anyways, the whole process, like the whole process was wild because I was doing online and local at the same time. And it really, you know, I was doing it seven days a week and it was killing me, dude. Like it was straight up killing me. So what eventually happened was I... Uh, you know, I almost had like a, like a breakdown, just like a straight up breakdown. And, um, I really like, you know, I really had some mental issues that I had to like really figure out. And, um, that's what happened, right? So I was working too hard and I was not sleeping enough. So anyways, how did I create team? Well, first I got the VAs, right? That was like the part one, right? And then part two was, I said, if I can create team with my business, dude, I can create team around my mental health and create systems so that never happens again. And from there, what I did was I hired a hypnotherapist, I hired a, um, a, a, a psychologist, whatever those guys are called, um, and then I was doing other things that was just helping my stress and my mental health. But because of that concept, they said, okay, this is like the thing I'm dealing with. And these are all the different, um, um, side effects from stress. How can I limit these side effects? What do I need to do? You know, so I literally had like three different modalities that I was doing at that time meditation, hypnotherapy, and um, like a psychologist. 
to get me through that mental breakdown, whatever you want to call it. And um, that's, uh, and then if, from there on, I've always had like, a, I like hypnotherapy because I've done a lot of different things, but I, I love hypnotherapy and it, I, I just, I like to do that more than any kind of talk therapy that uh, people like to do. I'm really, really not into it. But, um, you know, I like to do active, active, I guess you could say active stuff versus like talk therapy, feeling sorry for yourself um, and those sorts of things. So anyways, that's another way that I actually create a team around me. You know, I pick three people, uh, three things, and I committed to doing those three things. And over time, ever since then, I've never really had a lot of crazy, like that much crazy amount of stress ever again. And now, like when things get too stressful or something like that, like I already have structures. I have a hypnotherapist, you know, and I have, you know, structures in place, working out. I like to box, stuff like that. I have things in place so that I don't ever get to that point again. So I just wanted to say all those things to really encourage you guys to start thinking like, okay, when life is going bad and I'm having issues, problems, you want to instead look at who can help you. Who can you partner with? Who can, you know, just like I said, with the mental health stuff, I figured out three things and I went and committed. I had hypnotherapist, psychologist, um, and I was doing meditation myself, right? So whenever problems happen in your life, I would suggest instead of thinking like, oh, I'm going to figure this all out by myself. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to tell anybody, but I'm going to figure it out by myself. What I would suggest is that you reach out to somebody on whatever issue it is. And instead of thinking like, oh, I'm gonna reach out because I feel sorry for myself, fuck that, change the mindset to, I'm gonna create a team around building a solution to my problem. And I know that sounds selfish, but it, it, it kind of, changes the way you look at it so you're not like feeling sorry for yourself you're saying hey i'm going to create a team to move forward with all this so anyways just wanted to make this quick video i'm waiting on my parents right now they're about to be here i'm excited to see them and i hope that helps somebody out there and uh hope you guys are doing well